Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a Will I Buy It video. A big thank you to Samantha March for starting these kinds of videos. I just absolutely love them. I love sitting down and filming them and just talking about makeup, just talking about new releases, things that have been recently released or things that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start with some skincare. So Chantecaille has come out with a new face and body cream. It is their CBD 300 face and body cream. It is available now, and I think I've only seen it available on the Shantakai site. And this cream is $125. It is 50 mils, 1.7 fluid ounces, and it comes in this really beautiful like metallic uh, finish, like green jar. And it says on their site from the creator, Sylvie uh, Shantakai, who's the owner and creator of Shantakai, it says CBD 300 is especially great for those dry or itchy patches that come along with weather changes. This immediately soothes and calms sensitive skin. I use it anywhere I need some TLC from head to toe. I can't tell you like how musical that is to my ears because my entire like nasal area over here on my face gets so itchy with seasonal allergies and whenever it turns into like the spring summer seasons my skin gets so so itchy especially at night when I'm falling asleep um, I seem to be okay all day and then at night I just like my back starts to get itchy my thighs start to get really really itchy I'll moisturize I'll exfoliate like I'll do all the right things but I think it's just like a histamine reaction and when I saw her mention like weather changes I just thought oh maybe I need to try this and I had never been like a big believer of CBD I just was like oh whatever it's just another one of those like hot ingredients at the moment but I had tried some Lord Jones CBD products the bath salts the body oil the body lotion and I had some aches and pains and they did really help I mean it's temporary but it did actually help. I was very, very surprised. So not only am I intrigued by this CBD 300 face and body cream, uh, but I definitely, definitely want to get this. I'm just waiting for it to appear like on Nordstrom or some other site where I get like points and stuff. And usually Chantecai releases things on their website first, maybe for about a month and then it'll pop up in other retailers. So I'm waiting for it to pop up at Nordstrom, but I'm getting a little impatient. I'm getting a little itchy, no pun intended. So uh, I may end up ordering it off of the Chantecai site, which is in the end of the world, but I am hoping to be able to hold out until it pops up on some other retailers. So anyway, that is the Chantecai uh, CBD 300 face and body cream. Oh, it's crafted in the USA with the highest quality pure botanicals. It is free of, um, it's free of animal testing. So there's no animal testing, no parabens. It's fragrance free. It's salad free. It's gluten free and it's vegan. So expect to see this product in a haul very, very soon. So what I do is I kind of collect pictures of products I want to talk about uh, in this video. Otherwise I forget there's like so many things that pop up. Anyway, I saved this picture, which is a new product from pharmacy. It is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. And whenever I see any kind of gel moisturizer, I always think that's a moisturizer that's geared more towards uh, oilier skin types. And since I have an incredibly dry skin type, I didn't pay too much attention to this particular product. And then I was watching Tara Babies, a YouTube channel that I just absolutely love. And she was talking about how she picked this up and how she uses it. I'm gonna have to go back and watch her video again and, and really pay close attention. But she was talking about how she basically incorporated this gel moisturizer into his skincare routine but didn't use it as the only moisturizer because she also has very dry skin and so my ears perked up because I really do like pharmacy and I thought that could actually be very very interesting to kind of like layer the moisturizers and then pharmacy was really really kind enough in sending me this oil-free gel moisturizer so I am definitely going to be trying this out um, on its own layered I'm going to be trying it all different ways so I can give you guys some feedback on how um, like a gel moisturizer can work for very dry skin because I just I really like the texture of gel moisturizers especially in the warmer months and unfortunately they generally aren't like enough moisturization for my dry skin. So I really wanna play with this and see how I can kinda of like get it to work in my skincare routine. So anyway, I do have this product now and I'm really excited to give it a shot and report back to you guys. And then another product, I don't know if I'd consider this skincare, I guess this is more like makeup, but uh, Hourglass just came out with their Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I'm not generally in the habit of using setting spray. I don't necessarily need my makeup to like you know, be plastered to my face for like 14 hours or anything. If I do, I generally use the Scandinavia 
one of the Scandinavia setting sprays or like the Urban Decay All Nighter. Those are basically like hairspray for your face. It's really just gonna glue everything down. And if I do need something to stay for a very long time, I do reach for those products. But on a regular basis, I don't really, unless the setting spray also does a little bit something else. And you guys may or may not remember me mentioning uh, this particular product, but Dior has like an Air Flash Radiance Mist. I think that's what it's called. And it's a primer spray and a finishing spray. If you use it as a finishing spray, it has this kind of like a powderiness to the spray. And so when it kind of like lands on your makeup, it gives you this really blurred, like soft focus effect. And I feel like this veil spray from Hourglass is kind of similar. So I actually went back onto the Sephora site while the VIB sale is still going on and I placed an order for this spray. So will I buy it? Yes, I bought it and I'm really excited to give it a shot because if it acts like that Dior spray, oh, I just, I love that kind of like soft, kind of like filtered look that it gives my complexion. And I'd be really excited to have like a different option. Not that I don't love the Dior still, it's just, it's always nice to have options. So that's the Hourglass Soft Focus Spray. Let me see how much it is. It's it's $48 and it's 120 mils. Let me see how much the Dior one, because I think the Dior one is like 50 or in the 50s. And like, I don't usually use uh, products, but the first bottle I purchased of the, the Radiance Mist from Dior, I used up. So I don't think there was a lot of product in there. So it's $50 and it's 70 mils, 2.3 ounces. So it's more expensive with less product than the Hourglass. So if the Hourglass is similar to this one, that would be a wonderful, wonderful find. So I'm really excited to try that out. Like I said, I ordered it yesterday or the day before. So anyway, it should be coming soon. I'll probably end up having to do like another trying new makeup video because there were some things that I couldn't incorporate in yesterday's video. Anyway, I'll be sure to use it on camera for you guys very, very soon. So Gucci has come out with a pressed powder and it's already available on Selfridges. And when I found out about it, I hopped right on over there. I really wanted to try out this powder. I've really been enjoying the Gucci Beauty uh, makeup releases. I really love all of their lipsticks that I've uh, purchased, really enjoyed all of them. So I went over to Selfridges. There are quite a few shades available. I wanna say like maybe 18 or 20 shades. And the first six shades are sold out already. So I completely missed it. I'm hoping for a restock or I'm hoping that it comes to uh, some of the US sites, but I haven't been able to find, I even went onto the Gucci site. I haven't been on a couple days, but I went onto the Gucci site when I saw it on Selfridges and thought, oh, well, I'll just get it there. And it wasn't even available on the Gucci site. So I guess Selfridges uh, got some exclusive on it. When it does make itself available, I do want to get it. I don't know what shade I'm going to get. When I was looking on the site, I was thinking maybe I would get like three or four, but it's it really is so hard to tell. And I don't know how translucent it is. The more chance loose it is it kind of doesn't matter what shade I get as long as it's kind of you know within a range so anyway that is definitely a yes to a will I buy it I just don't know when and hopefully <laughs> it'll be restocked soon and I appreciate you guys so much so many of you like tip me off to either restocks or new releases being made available you know on websites or whatever and I appreciate it so much because I feel like things sell out so so quickly these days so keep the tips coming thank you so much I really really appreciate it. So that's the Gucci press powder. Oh, I didn't even tell you how much it is. Let me find it. Okay, so on the Selfridges site, and you know, prices differ sometimes between Selfridges and like US sites. It's around $50. That's so weird. When I clicked on it, it said 46 and now it says 51. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure of the exact price, but it's around $50. And yeah, the first six shades are sold out. So zero through five, and then six through 11 are available on the site. So if you have a medium to deeper skin tone, and you're interested in this powder, it is available on Selfridges. And then Mel Cosmetics has come out with yet another eyeshadow palette. And I, I was kind of confused because this new 420 palette uh, looks very similar to the Rust, uh, Rust palette. It looks very similar to the Gemini palette. It's sort of like a mashup between those two. The greens and the yellows are a little bit brighter than they are in the Gemini palette. Um, and there aren't as many like kind of like brown neutrals as the Rust palette. And then there's a very interesting shade all the way to the right. It almost, I think it's just a light brown, but in this picture, it almost looks like a silvery lilac. I believe this palette went on sale on 420 on April 20th. And you needed a password to get onto the Melt site, which I put in 
and then like I don't know I don't know if it's sold out or if it wasn't available yet anyway it didn't even have like a mention of this palette there were some gel eyeliners there was some other sort of like paraphernalia on there but there was no like palette on there and I think this is going to be available on Sephora unfortunately after the VIB sale ends but I think it will be on Sephora and I can't decide if I want to get this I really really love the colors I love the color story I really like Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes I like the formula I really love the color story and everything but I just I feel like maybe I have these eyeshadow colors in all of their other palettes although now that I'm taking a closer look again I don't know how accurate this picture is that I found on trend mood but the third shade in chronic it looks almost like a gray and then the color next to that I think roll it is also like a cool toned kind of like darker gray what I'm trying to say is upon closer inspection I do feel like these shades are a little bit more unique than I thought when I just kind of saw it at first glance and there's really only like two browns in here and then the rest are these different colors so I don't know I feel like I'm talking myself into this palette at first I was like oh no way I have all these shades but now that I'm taking a look at like kind of like the each individual pans these shades are quite different so I think I'll search for like more kind of like detailed close-up shots of this palette just to see like the tones of the non green and yellow shades just to see if they are actually this cool toned and different from what I've seen in previous melt palettes so that's a definite maybe that's a definite maybe I passed on the rust palette um, if you guys saw my Sephora VIB sale haul I ended up getting the artist couture supreme nudes instead like in my mind I, I wanted to choose between one of those and so I got the artist couture instead passed on the rust palette so maybe I'll pick this one up that is the melt 420 palette and then on my girl chic profile official Instagram feed she posted two quads two new quads from Tom Ford one is called number 26 visionaire and the other one is number 27 meteoric now when I first saw these I didn't think that they were new I thought the one on the on the right or the bottom of the picture on the right that looks like disco dust doesn't it and I think disco dust was discontinued so I guess they're coming out with like a revamped version of disco dust but doesn't that look like disco dust so anyway you guys know I won't be able to resist these I'm gonna get them probably just out of pure curiosity but these are of the pressed powder formula these are not the wet dry formula so in my mind these are you know a little bit less special than the wet dry Tom Ford quads but I like them all the same I think they perform really nicely I generally like the color stories that um, they come out with and these look pretty these just look very very familiar so I don't know when these are coming out maybe in May or June I think in May the face palettes the shade and illuminate face and eye palettes um, those are supposed to be hitting retailers so I don't know if they're going to be trying to time it right maybe these will come out in June I'm not really sure but apparently two new quads from Tom Ford coming and I will probably pick them up if anything just to review for you guys and speaking of more eyeshadow palettes so Dior looks like they're coming out with a whole new bunch of quince this is a picture off of the lolly news uh, Russian Instagram feed so I'm not sure if these will be coming to the US I don't know if this is like a Europe or Russian release only but the color stories in these quince look very very nice and it's hard to tell in this picture but the formula of these shadows look like they could be different don't they look kind of like pillowy so maybe they're baked I don't know but I am definitely very curious I'm really really attracted to the one that's all the way at the bottom on the left it has like the black in the middle doesn't that look so pretty it has all those different like taupes and golds all around it so if these come to the US I would love to give these a shot I tried some other Dior quince maybe a couple years ago and they were okay I've never really been like that impressed with them so I've always kind of passed on them and then there was one that was just released I think I mentioned it in a previous will I buy it and I wanted to get it because it reminded me of ice cream <laughs> the colors reminded me of like an ice cream sandwich or like a Neapolitan you know ice chocolate strawberry vanilla anyway um, I went onto the Dior site when I saw it was available and it was already sold out so I don't know if that's going to be coming to retailers hopefully Nordstrom is where I usually see Dior stuff pop up so if I can get my hands on that I do still want to get that one and if I see these pop up I definitely want to give these a shot especially if the formula 
is different, which I suspect it is. I mean, they look they look really different, don't they? And Viseart is coming out with two new lip shine colors. It's part of their Spritz Edit. So they just came out with the Spritz Edit palette, which I will be putting like a video review up of it very soon, over the next week. And these two lip shades are, one is called Spritz and one is Scala. And I'm so excited. I love their lip shines. I think they're such a wonderful formula. They're so comfortable on the lips. I love wearing them alone. I love layering them on top. I love mixing them together. They're really, really beautiful. And these two colors, I mean, you can tell, these are like so, so exciting to me. With spring well underway, summer is pretty much here in Vegas. It's supposed to reach like 100 degrees next week. I'm not happy about it. These really hot temperatures always, always make me wanna bring out these kind of like really bright, orangey red colors and the oh and this is just perfect absolutely perfect so i think these are available now if not very very soon because their spritz edit palette is already out and i think that would just oh that would be like the perfect pairing so very very excited for that and then last but not least is probably something i'm like <laughs> probably the most excited about but i have no idea what this is so we started seeing teaser pics uh for something from wayne goss cosmetics so this is not a brush people were like oh maybe it's like a brush holder or something i'm like this looks like a lipstick to me i think this is a wayne goss lipstick so when i saw pictures of this i got really really excited again i'm not positive what it is i have no idea it could be a perfume I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be purchasing it no matter what it is. So what do you guys think it is? I mean, I think it has to be a lipstick. I'm just hoping it's not like a super matte lipstick or anything like that. I mean, maybe it's a concealer. It could be a stick concealer. I don't really know, but Beautylish already has like you can like sign up for like notifications or whatever. And they usually only do that like not too far out. So I'm I'm just, I'm so excited. And um, Wayne Goss has been talking about uh, doing cosmetics for such a long time. And like, I feel like we've all been kind of like waiting and we saw um, different pictures of like maybe eyeshadows or whatever. So whatever it is, I'm excited. I think we're all excited. And yes, I'm definitely gonna have to be picking this up no matter what it is. All right, so that is it for this Will I Buy It? Let me know if there are any new releases that I've missed that you're curious about, whether or not I'm gonna pick up, um, I can let you know. And let me know what you are most interested in down below so that I know that there's interest out there and if I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I was gonna pick it up, I will pick it up to uh, review for you guys. And that is it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.